just me and Sterling. Why are we going to... When I called the ladies over and the ladies came, it, it seemed very simple. Hey, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to have a great time. Okay. So I simply thought they were coming in the room mm -hmm. to enjoy the karaoke, you know, to sing with us so we can, you know, get a little party on, get a little move on, enjoy ourselves, yeah. maybe have a couple of drinks, and then just go home for the night and then know, if we did not make any connections. So, but... Were they good at singing? I mean, did they teach you how to They were better than us. Definitely way better than us. But was it fun to watch them sing? I mean, well, we it was good just to be not two guys together in a room singing to each other. Right. Definitely not. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So what else happened? After everything was complete, later on in the week he found out that I got one of the young ladies' numbers. And that's the real reason I think that we're here today. Mm -hmm. Because he propositioned one of the women after he saw the tag and commenced a swipe for After he allowed me to pay my thirty-four dollars to him, he did not ask for any other money. He let me pay thirty-four dollars, and I said, "Hey, I'm going to give you some money on the gratuity." So I did give him a six six dollars. You didn't ask for the six hundred dollars. You didn't tell him to the bill, and you didn't see you didn't see the bill. No, no, man. The bill was right there, and I explained to him right then. I said, "I am not paying six hundred dollars for the membership because I do not." I did not um, attend brothels. Was it a brothel? Yes. This is $600 to have a woman's attention. I would consider that a brothel, Your Honor. But I don't you, know what a brothel but, but you were, well, you were heir. Don't let him fool you. Right. Don't it's, let him fool you. He's women. I did think that. Well, here's the problem. Here's the problem, then. But, but so you got different attention than everybody else. That's what I'm trying to understand. You got but there were other people in the room getting attention. I got it. But everybody in the room was getting different attention than the community. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So it's a different service. Exactly. Right? Completely different service. Just common sense would dictate to me, hey, I'm in a nice place, you know, I'm hanging out in a private room. This is a completely different world. May I say something? What right? is it? I go to a bar to drink. I don't go to pay for women's attention. I understand, but you actually did go to the bar. Yeah, you did. You did know it was a different place. You guys had never been to there before. You, neither of you asked. And you knew you were getting a different type of service. And I you, were, you were in a completely different world. Common sense would tell you, gee, man, if I sit in the front row, I gotta pay front row prices. Right? I mean, that's what would happen. You're you on. get tickets to the best game in town, and you're sitting in front of the best basketball players. You know you're paying more for those tickets than the tickets that you're going to get in the back. But if someone invites you and says, hey, I've got two tickets in the Somebody front row. Somebody didn't invite you. He said, do you want to go to the hostess bar? And you said, He said, I, I know the place too. that's new. Yeah. I've been to a hostess karaoke bar before. He said that. He, he said, said, I've been to a hostess karaoke bar before. But you said you had never been. No. So and he, he said he had never been. He said he had never been. He's been putting been. words in my nose. Okay. End of story. I'm ready to rule. For you to claim ignorance that you didn't know it's ridiculous because that means everybody would say, I'm an idiot, well, I'm, I'm not, I, I, I'm speaking. You cannot claim ignorance because that means if you claimed ignorance, everybody else could claim ignorance and say, I'm an idiot, I have taken no responsibility. I grant your claim, you got to pay him $300. Thank you very much. Right. Jeff Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $300. We're not hanging out, we're not chilling out, there's no struggle and I'm not putting you down with none of these ladies that I know of any of that. Don't be mad because I got the girls. It doesn't even have to be like that, man. Yeah. You have to pay half your bill. And later. Did you tell her, get out of here?